you make it sound so simple what a master has mastered is alignment and so it isn't what they say it's what they demonstrate and what they're demonstrating is alignment so if you can focus on that watch their characteristics how do they seem to be are they worried or are they calm are they kind or are they mean are they frustrated or are they on top of life are they eager or are they depressed are they happy or are they sad in other words look for the emotional indicators of what they're doing with their vibration and mimic it you teach through the clarity of your example we offer so many words and the words help us focus together but our intention as we're playing with any of you is to get you focused into a feeling so your questions are really good questions and we started to say to you when you said I have two questions we started to say we have one answer <laughs> and it was alignment alignment which is annoying but everything that we offer is everything that we offer every process that we've ever offered every sentence that we've ever uttered everything that we've ever offered to any of you has been with the intention of guiding you into alignment which means we're wanting to soothe that thing you're doing that's keeping you from it and, and I think that's part of the key too is is learning how to soothe um, I need some of my hard drive erased because my what I've learned or you don't need to erase it just focus on the most beneficial parts of it well sometimes when emotion comes up it well that's too late the emotion is already the indicator of how you've been focusing that's what we're saying if you wait until the manifestation or even until the emotion mm -hmm. now you're not out ahead of it now you're having the knee-jerk response and that's what we meant when we were talking about momentum earlier if you start in a neutral place you could either promote the momentum that you want or not be a catalyst to the momentum that you don't want in other words you could stand in front of the car that's getting ready to roll off into the ocean and you could hold it where you want it to be or if you wanted it to move off into the ocean you could give it a nudge and off it would go you want to get out ahead of it you see and so what most people do they wait until the momentum is already underway and then they say now what do I do and we say well all you can do is action and it's not ever enough and so then it's like the analogy that we've offered for so many years you've jumped out of an airplane you're at 30,000 feet you have no parachute and you say what do I do and we say hang on it'll be over in a little bit <laughs> because the momentum is such there's not a lot for you to do but if you get out ahead of it if you get out ahead of it if you envision things the way you want them to be if you care about how you feel it's so simplistic that a lot of people can't even hear it there's just not enough angst or struggle or trauma or drama in it for most people when we say how you feel is everything and you have control of how you feel and most everybody to some extent will argue for their limitations yeah but this made me feel this way and this made me feel this way and this made me feel this way and we want to say to you it doesn't matter what happened or how you feel about it you have the option of choosing a better option of how you feel about it and I think that's what I'm asking for what is it that kickstart to let go for most it has to get bad enough that you can't stand it and then you find let go of it but we don't think it should have to be that traumatic we think that you ought to be able to feel the difference between complimenting someone and criticizing someone oh, yeah. we think you ought to be able to feel that difference and when you're doing one or the other make a choice oh this is my preference I'm gonna do more of this and less of this we think you ought to be able to feel the difference between anticipating something that you don't know how it's gonna come but feeling eager about it and worrying about it we think you ought to be able to feel the difference between worry and anticipation and we think you have the resources to guide it that way but we don't think you get on it early enough in your game we think you blunder into your day you let stuff happen to you you observe it it sets the tone the momentum's in motion and then you say this is too hard and we say we know it is hard if you let the momentum get going that car is gonna mow right over you it's so hard it's impossible to stop that kind of momentum and so that's what we mean when we say get out ahead of it so when you put yourself in your bed at night acknowledge that this day is pretty much done and tomorrow's going to be a fresh day and just make the suggestion to yourself that you're going to start this day on a good footing
Just say that softly to yourself, not making big promises and not talking about what you're not going to do or what you are going to do. But tomorrow is going to be a really good energy day. I'm going to wake up aware and it's going to be neutral energy and I'm going to get myself into a good feeling place early and then just bask yourself to sleep. Appreciate someone or something. Appreciate something that is easy to appreciate and go to sleep. And when you awaken, lie there for a moment and say, now, what was it I was thinking about before I went to bed? Oh, yeah, this is a good day. This is a new day. I'm in a neutral zone. I'm in a non-momentum moment right now. If you wake up late, the momentum's already started. You're already late. If you wake up to someone arguing in the other room, the momentum's already started. If you wake up and go immediately to worrying about what you were worrying about yesterday, the momentum has already started. So make the decision that you're going to get out ahead of it. So you might find yourself after two or three nights and mornings and nights and mornings, you might find yourself setting some intentions for yourself. When I wake in the morning, the first thing I'm going to do is drink something really delicious and sit and bask for a little while. And I think my favorite place to do that would be there. Yeah. I think in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to drink something lovely and I'm going to refresh myself and I'm going to sit and bask for just a little while right there. Now you've already started momentum. Now, some of you are saying, oh yeah, well, like good chance I'm going to have for doing that because when I wake up in the morning, all hell always breaks loose in my life. And we say, all right, so you've already crashed up against some momentum. So you have to take a different tact. So you have to go even more general than that. So you have to start saying to yourself, well, I think I could carve out a place somewhere in my day where I could do something like that. And I'm going to look for more opportunity to do that. In other words, you just have to keep finding more pleasant thoughts and fewer unpleasant thoughts until you convince yourself that you are capable of controlling the direction of the way your day is going to go. And it won't take very much before you start showing yourself that if you give yourself a chance of being in a neutral place where there's no momentum, in other words, you're not doing that thing you do that's taking you off in the direction that you don't want to be and getting defensive right away. If you can just give yourself a few days of this experience of this neutral zone, you will discover that neutral means the cork will float. That neutral means you'll let go of the cork and the cork will float into the higher frequency. In other words, you don't have to paddle your way up into the higher frequencies. You just have to stop holding yourself down in the lower frequencies. And so it is so much simpler than any of you have been giving yourself. How many of you are enjoying getting out and running every day or any day, some days? How many of you like to take a good run? And have you noticed that when you do it, that there is a momentum in the way you feel? Runners call it getting into a zone. They can't even really explain what it is. But they've started in a neutral place and the movement itself is distracting them enough from enough other things that it gives them a clear place for their energy and it allows their energy to raise, you see. And so that's what we're suggesting is that you get out ahead of it. Get out I had already it. learned some of that from some of your teachings about go to bed. I have this wonderful bed and I crawl into bed and I think those good thoughts and I wake up in the morning and I do that. But then, so like what are said, some the of the first thoughts fell. that you come across in the morning? What are the, just call them out and we'll repeat them. We'll find them. But what are the troublesome thoughts that you're bumping up against bumping up against it's a good way to say it because it's active in your vibration so you're bumping up against it what are some of those early morning bumping up against unpleasant thoughts that you're finding take it easy there just a little bit so, so I feel physically uncomfortable what else I don't want to go to work I didn't get enough sleep what else I have too much to do. So now let's just take those. I have too much to do. When you say that, that just keeps that momentum going. So what if when you go to bed, you will suggest to yourself that eventually I'm going to come into alignment with what I have to do. Just that soft suggestion. Eventually I'm going to come into alignment with what I have to do. Eventually I'm going to access the leverage of the energy that creates worlds and I'm going to get that energy helping me out on some of this. Now you've already just with that statement the night before you made that statement when you wake up in the morning if that previous thought had any momentum it won't be as much momentum as it had before you made that statement. 
so now you awaken and you might even notice that for the first time in a long time you are feeling a little bit of ease and then you want to stop and say to yourself out loud if you want to but at least acknowledge that it happened I am having a realization of some ease that realization of that ease is a momentum that is different from what I've had before you see what we're getting at so that you start noticing that the things that you're saying and that the things you're focused upon in an attitude of more comfort so let's say you wake up in the morning and your body hurts when you put yourself in your bed at night lie there for a little bit and try to find something that makes you feel comfort in your body appreciate the softness of the bed or appreciate the comfort of the pill focus upon something that feels good try to put yourself in a comfortable position where you are acknowledging this feels good this feels good we really really want you to hear us when we say don't try to stop momentum that's what makes you think you can't do it that's what makes you think you're doing it wrong that's what makes you think it's too hard you're trying to stop momentum that is already in motion don't worry about stopping it let it play out it's not going to be that bad let it play out let the momentum play out and put your energy your mindset your determination toward getting new energy started so instead of saying I'm gonna to try to get my body to stop hurting start saying oh this feels good oh that tastes good oh this is relaxing oh this is a good thing get that momentum going and it is our promise to you with far less attention than you have put into almost anything else that you are doing you will begin to dovetail with this energy that creates worlds and you'll begin to feel momentum and it won't take long before you'll begin to feel a sort of invincibility you'll feel so invincible that you'll be watching something on television that's not going your way and you'll say I want and when it happens you'll say thank you very much thank you very much thank you very thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much for recognizing me thank you very much for hearing me thank you very much for flowing energy towards something that I have chosen as my object of attention thank you very much thank you very much for recognizing my power thank you very much for recognizing my clarity but you got to put yourself in that place where you've practiced it enough that you're starting to expect it and see it when you decide that you're gonna go someplace and you know where you're going envision yourself there how often do you return to a restaurant that you've been at before and they seat you at the same table that you've been before Has that ever happened to you and you say this must be our table even though it's not the same person that's seating you well why is that it's because that's the impression that you have offered to the universe about being in that space it is your table that's where the momentum is that's the momentum so you arrive at the timing of that table to seat you you arrive with the impulse of that person in other words nothing happens randomly everything is following this vibrational momentum that you've got going you see and we're here to remind you of this huge momentum that you got going before you even came into these physical bodies this momentum of well-being this momentum of creativity this momentum of right place right time this momentum of life being good for you this momentum of things working out for you this momentum of being here to relish this delicious experience that you're co-creating in there's huge momentum and you had to pick up a lot of things along your physical trail and start getting some other momentums going on that were resistant in nature that you're stumbling over that you're tripping over that you're bumping into you see but just get yourself in that neutral zone and think about momentum and think about law of attraction and then do something to promote a feeling of something that feels comfortable to you and then don't stand there and take score immediately oh I thought this good thought nothing good came to me right now just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it before you know it you'll have a realization oh this is related to that oh this is related to that oh this is related to that until you reach the place that Esther has been for a long time where when something wanted happens she says oh I did that and when something unwanted happens she understands her part in that too you see everything is about the momentum that you set into motion